Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here in hospital, ready for my reversal surgery. I Ideally I wanted to get a few live rounds, you know, of me playing golf before this happened, but turns out Christmas and the weather really got in the way, so I'll just do a quick vlog, because I've arrived, I'm about to get changed into my gown. This thing is going today. Um, the hospital's pretty busy, but I think I'm next on the list. So, yeah, I'll see how it goes. I'll hopefully be out of here in a few days. But I'll, I'll do a little update in this video after the surgery, tell you how I'm feeling, because I'm not massively sure what to expect after this. Um, I've heard contrasting reports. Some of them say it's, um, it'll take a couple of days for you to get back to some kind of normal and I've also read that it'll take months but we'll see I'll document it and hopefully it can be helpful to somebody in the future here we go operation all done um, I'm in my own room recovering I obviously feel a bit drowsy from the um, anesthetic feel a bit sick as well I've had some tea and some water but um, I think obviously the Intestines just taking a while to get going again. I'm on an anti drug, which is helping. Um, somehow I've lucked out and I've ended up in a here, which is the private suite, even though I've not paid for it. So I'm sure before long I'll be booted out and put back in with everybody else. Overall, feel much better than I did last time I had um, the APR surgery, um, and yeah, just looking forward to being able to eat again. But I'm not going to rush it, and this is what I'd suggest to you if you're about to have this or the APR, just do what they tell you and don't eat food before you should, because you'll end up with a paralysis, and it's it's awful. So yeah, evening after the surgery, eight o'clock. Feeling okay, gonna watch some football now, hopefully if the football's good enough. And I'll uh, keep you updated. Two now, um, about 9 a.m. I've been up, I've had my shower, bed changed, all that good stuff. Um, no food for me today, just clear fluids, maybe some ice cream if I'm lucky. I'm more than happy with that because I don't want to get paralysis again, because that was horrible. So my biggest tip if you're going to go through something like this is just don't rush back to your food, your body can last ages without food, not so much fluids, but you can drink fluids, that's fine. Um, yeah, got some visitors coming at 12, and as soon as I can get control back, um, they're going to let me leave. I've had no movement or anything down there so far, so I'm not really expecting anything till tomorrow. And just a final word on the doctors, nurses and surgeons, they're just amazing, aren't they? Incredible, incredible people. Striking at the minute, probably deserve more money. Well, definitely deserve more money. I don't think there's another profession in the world that is as important when it really matters. Interesting to know what you all think. Um, yeah, so I'll update you when I've had a bit of food, see how that goes. Now on day three, um, feeling better walking around. Um, fine, with a lot less pain. Pain starting to subside. Um, so unfortunately I've got a little chart here that I meant to fill out <laughs> with the types of poo essentially um, nothing's come out yet uh, still waiting for that but I have started to pass wind so hopefully it's moving in the right direction there um, still just on yogurts and fluids hopefully some have something a bit more substantial today um, all in all, feeling a lot better myself though, so fingers crossed. Day four, slept really well last night. Um, recommend some of these from Boots and an eye mask. Although this ward's actually um, pretty quiet and a lot quieter to where I was the first time. I had that, so I've got quite lucky here to be honest because sleep's massive. I think if you can sleep well, your mood stays better. I am getting a bit of cabin fever now, but the end is getting close. Um, 
Had some Rice Krispies this morning. The chart, got a few lines on the chart. It's, it's mostly uh, wind at the minute, but stuff's starting to work. Um, talking with you now here today. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure myself whether I'm going to. We'll see if I can have some proper solid food. Um, yeah, doing all right. A bit bored, but the end is not. Right, the surgeon's just been in. He's happy with my progress. I thought he'd want to see a bit more on the old chart, but no, he's happy. He said I can go home, carry on my recovery from there. So day four morning, I've been allowed to go home. Hasn't been too bad at all, really. I say I'm starting to get a bit of cabin fever, but um, really lucky with the room I've got. I, I don't know how I've ended up with this, like I say, but I'm not going to complain. Um, so I'll sign off on this video. I'll let you know how I get on. Uh, I've eaten some Rice Krispies and a couple of pastries this morning. We'll see how they go. And thanks for watching.